always quarantine my new house plants. So when I get them home and do, if you're going to repot them and things like that and check the soil, because I like them. I've had so many times where I've brought a house plant home and then a week later, everything's got spider mites. So oh, I always yeah. try and quarantine that plant first. If I need to spray it with a neem oil or something like that. What's you that? Know. So neem oil, mm. I use it on house plants, but I wouldn't recommend it outside unless you really, really have to, and only at specific times because it's um, it's made from a sap, a tree sap, and it will basically kill anything. So any black fly, aphids, but it will also do bees, butterflies. So if you, uh, I wouldn't use it outside, nice. especially not at flowering time. But for your house plants, when I get a new one, I just make a little solution. It's about a teaspoon of neem with a little bit of washing up liquid and just normal water. I'll put the whole house plant, a new plant that I bought, goes in my bathtub and I spray it all down and it stays away from my plants then. And then leave it 24 hours for the neem oil to set. Can't put it in direct sunlight as well. If once you've used Nemo, it needs to stay out of direct sunlight for about 48 hours because it does right. coat the leaves and it, it's prone to getting sun scorched if you, if you put it directly out. And then once it's had a few days and settled, then I'll introduce it to the rest of its friends. But I've been caught a few times with spider mites because unfortunately with the nature of a, a garden centre, the amount of plants they've got, they're never mm. going to be able to catch mm. every little early sign of a pest. So I kind of do it as a preventative now. 